Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing a massive haul. Um, so yeah, we're doing a haul from PLT today. I've spent some of my coin and bought clothes that I obviously do not need because where are we going right now? Someone tell me. But you know, I still want to look cute for the times that I do go out and it's changing into an autumn now so we've got some transitional pieces. Right now it's raining and super gloomy so let's not even talk about that. But yeah, um, so obviously some of you might be um, transitioning from summer to winter. Well, we all are transition from, transitioning from summer to autumn and I know this can be like really daunting because I'm pretty sure like last week it was like 25 degrees and now we're going to like 14 degrees. So it's a bit daunting, it's a bit daunting even for me because I'm like what do I wear, I literally look outside, it's sunny but it's freezing so you know that can confuse you guys so hopefully um, I can help you guys with some pieces and give you some inspo, um, I will be linking everything down below. So let's get on with the haul. So let me start off with what I'm wearing, this is the first buy that I made. So this is a PLT nude crop top with a little PLT logo here which is quite cute I think, very like cool, um, that kind of vibe. Um, it is quite short, um, obviously my belly button's there, it is quite short but I struggle with these things. I'm probably going to be saying a lot in this video of this but one thing you should know about me Obviously, I have larger breasts, so a lot of things I've struggled with. Um, but yeah, like if you are like big breasted girls out there, like hopefully I can help because there's a lot of people on YouTube that have smaller boobs, and I go and purchase those things, and it's just not the same. But yeah, so this is nice, it fits obviously, it's just underneath, um, which is all right because you can always wear it with something really high waisted, like I have here. Um, yeah, it's ribbed material, got the cute little PLT logo here, and then over the top I have just put on this oversized shirt, this is also from PLT, I didn't do it in this haul but it's still new in, um, this is an oversized check shirt, oh I forgot to say, I better tell you the sizes don't I, and hold on, what size do I get this top in, I've still got the tags on everything so that's good, um, I don't actually know if it tells me. Oh, I got it in a size 8. So I got this in a size 8. I probably... I probably could have done with a 10, but only because... For, like, because these are these straps are very short, so obviously it comes out very short on me, but I do think if I got the 10, it would have been quite loose on the bottom for me. So I'm not really sure. So stick to your size, but if obviously you have big boots like me, then maybe size up. Um, yeah, so this oversized shirt I also got in a size 8, I believe. Let me check, guys. I'm so sorry, this is not professional, but here we go. Uh, okay, I got the size, the shirt in the 10, because I obviously wanted it a little bit looser. But it is already oversized, so you could just stick to your size, obviously. Um, yeah, so it does have, like, brown and black tones in the shirt with, like, the white line in there. And that's why I thought it was perfect for this little crop top. I actually bought the shirt first um, and then I bought the crop top in another day because I thought this would pair really nicely um, yeah so it's obviously really big here we go very big um, which I love like you can put it off your shoulder um, the sleeves are massive which I absolutely freaking love when sleeves come over my hands I'm sure a lot of you out there are like that but yeah maybe um, yeah so I like wearing it like this hello um, obviously it's cold outside now so yeah that will do there you go and then today i'm just wearing it with some plt jogging bottoms these are literally classic i feel like everyone has these they're obviously like quite um not oversized but like bigger and then you've got the little tie waist there which you can just like proper cinch yourself in so i think this is a nice like casual look for the day you just want to run errands going for a quick shop stuff like that you know but i will pan you down right so yeah these are the bottoms um these are very like common on plt and they pretty much have like every single color so they're obviously not fitted they're a bit more looser and then you've got the cinching bit you can do there um i have styled these with some of these balenciagas obviously they're black and nude so i thought it was a good um combo 
Um, but yeah, any trainers, black trainers, even white trainers because of the lining, you're good to go. So I do want to kind of make this video like a styling video as well, as well as a haul, just because I know it can, like, people will find it difficult to, like, piece things together. So I've already obviously shown you the trainers I would have paired it with, and then I would simply just put this bag with it. I have actually just bought this bag. I think it's still got the label on it, yeah. So it's actually from Primark. There we go. So it's a nice little Prada dupe. So I would, oh, let's not get tagged in here. Something like this would look really cute with this outfit, obviously. Um, mixing the beiges and the blacks it makes it look like we're super chill but we kind of put some effort in but we're comfy AF you know because comfort is key guys especially when it's getting colder out I just want to be comfortable and cozy but yeah so I would pair this little bag with it and obviously it ties in with hello <laughs> the shoes there um, and then the nudes and obviously if you don't have a nude bag then you can simply put it with a black bag so I've got this one from H&M either one works but I do like the contrast of the nude on top just because it stands out a little bit more okay guys so we are in the second outfit now so both of these are from PLT and um, that I got wrapped this time around so this is just a another another neutral of course and uh, we're loving the neutral new we're loving the neutral vibes for autumn. Um, but yeah, so this top here is a long sleeve. I don't really know what pattern you call this. It's like a smoky kind of vibe. Like, I don't know, like it's not tied. Yeah, it's not tied. dye It's like got these like smoky kind of vibes, but I love the colors in this. Like all the brown, gray, beige tones are so, so nice. Um, I did get this in a size Eight. I don't have the label because I've already worn this outfit actually out for dinner once. Um, um, this top does have like this ruching on the side if you can see there. Um, and then it's got these tie details. Now, one thing I want to say is I did um, actually want to wear this like a bit higher up because I thought the ruching um, is like adjustable and it's not. It is like literally a fake, like it doesn't ruch up. Whereas I wanted to kind of you know this tops that like, ruche up on the side so then it like, becomes a U shape but it doesn't do that um, they are fake but nonetheless it is still a cute top um, obviously if you want that you can just pull it down so then the sides look a bit higher up um, I have paired this with these leather trousers here no, sure I'm so sorry I just need to figure out these camera angles but I will pan you down in a sec um, yeah I've worn these with these like newt stone Stone, there we go, I was gonna say new. These stone leather trousers here. Um, they do have some biker some biker pattern that I'll show you. Yeah, so I'm oh, thinking they're pockets, they're not. They've kind of got like this um lining down here, and then on the knees, they're like a biker. Hold on, I'll get closer. Like a biker print. So they've got this um quilted kind of pattern with thread in. Um, I really love these colours together, like I think this looks like a really good outfit. These fit amazing, I did size up, um, usually I am on an 8 on my bottom as well, um, but I obviously knew with leather that you need to size up, so I got 10 in these. Um, these colours, gorgeous, I love this. Um, I am wearing them with some white trainers today, sorry, there you go, some white trainers today, um, when I did wear them before. I wore them with some heels um, for dinner. But yeah, I love this vibe. These colours are really nice together. These fit amazing. I absolutely love these. I am 5'4". Yes, I'm 5'4". So these come up to just my ankle, which is where I love them. But if you're taller, I'm not really sure um, on the length of these on you guys. Did I tell you the guys the size? Yeah, so top in a size 8, bottoms in a size 10. Absolutely love this outfit. I think it's really um, nice together and the colours just tie in really nicely with the neutrals. Um, now for styling, I did pair this with, this isn't from PLT, it's from New Look, but I paired it with this grey suede leather jacket kind of vibe on top. But... Only because I think if you did black, it would look too harsh with it. So maybe if you have like a nude jacket, um, a white or a beige 
kind of vibe jacket are obviously great. Um, I think it will tie in really nicely. So yeah, I really like this together because obviously you've got some of the grey in, in the top. So it goes really well together. And then I'd probably go with my little nude bag I got from Brianark. Whack that on and it just ties in all together really nicely. And yeah, I think it's a vibe and I love this outfit. I definitely have to wear it again. Didn't get for I didn't get a pick for the gram, so it basically means it doesn't happen, right? Does it happen? Doesn't did it happen? <laughs> Sorry, um a bit frazzled here. Uh but yes, I love this. Okay, so the next top I got in the PLT haul was this one here. Um, so, you know, we all love that tie-dye kind of trend in the summer with the bright colours, but I really think this one's like the autumnal um, kind of vibe of it. So we've got some, it's quite similar to my last one, but obviously this is not long sleeves. Um, yeah, this one's a racer, which usually I don't really like these tops for me. Um, that's not, we will have something we don't like about ourselves and mine is my shoulders, so that's why I tend to put my hair in front. Um, but yeah, so it is a racer, so it goes slightly in like this. Um, so with a bra, like obviously you'd be able to see the straps here. I'm wearing a straps bra, so you'd probably have to do the same. Or obviously if you've got smaller boobs, then no bra, perfect. Um, but yeah, so I've just paired them with the stone trousers again. I think it still looks nice with all the neutral colors blended in together. This is a rib material, which is nice. Um, yeah, it's just like an easy crop top to like put on with anything really, like black jeans, black leather trousers, obviously these stone leather trousers. Um, just needed some more basic tops and this is a good one. Just chug it on, out the door, ready to go. Uh, this I got in a size eight. Again, I've worn this one, but yes, I'm pretty sure I got in a size eight. Usually my tops, are in an eight or 10, um, depending on material. Um, but obviously, because this is stretchy, I've got an eight because it obviously needs to go around this area. Um, yeah, there's not really much to say about this one. It's nice, easy. Yeah, um, again, I've paired this outfit with some white trainers and probably just go with the new nude bag, you know, because we are nude queens out here. Um, yeah, so basically tie-dye from summer trend moved on to autumn which I think is quite cute and again you could put on the grey jacket that I had um, obviously to be warmer because I don't think I'll be going out like this but yeah this ties in really nicely I'm sure PLT do jackets like this and um, they definitely did last year so yeah but yeah and um, like I said this one's some new look um, yeah I think that all ties in very nice so again it's like um, you know, like really basic things, but just put all put together. So I think it comes out as a nice outfit. And obviously if you're doing something like nice in the day, I think it's a good outfit. You can go from day to night. If you just chuck on like a pair of Perspex heels, I think it would look really cute. Um, and my lighting just went lovely. Okay, and we're back. Sorry about that. My laptop died, which means my lighting also died um, because I'm going to plug it in. But yeah, um, I don't think there's anything really much to say, but... Yeah, I think this is super cool and I love it. Okay, so next up we have this little snake print top that's in black and white. And we've got some grey little detailing down there as well. Um, this is again just a super easy top to chuck on with some black over trousers like I'm wearing now. Um, and it just looks a little bit dressier for dinners if you're going to a bar. Um, yeah, it is like this low square neck kind of detail in here it's quite a thin fabric um i literally think this was like something ridiculous like three pounds after i got like the plt discount um so i just threw it in my basket basically but i think it makes like a really good like evening outfit you know sexy vibes and all um yeah so i have just paired it with some black leather trousers these aren't from plt these are from quiz but obviously plt come on they supply the goods with leather trousers um i can try and link some down below um, that are similar to these, just skinny black leather trousers. But yeah, so the top from PLT, um, I got this in a size eight, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, size eight. Um, I think it's a perfect fit for me. Um, even if you have bigger boobs, it's really stretchy, as you can see here. So it will just fit round perfectly. Um, yeah, they've got like a semi-low back. 
and obviously the snake skin is cute. Um, I would pair this with a blazer on top, obviously for the cold and nights. So this one is from PLT. I did buy it a while ago, but I'm 100% sure they still have this one. It's one of the gold military buttons. I will link it back down below if it's still available or one that's similar. So yeah, to style it, I'd whack on a blazer on top, just so you're not as exposed. Like I quite like that, like you've got the top of the chest out, a bit of the midriff out, um, and then just like a small detailing of snake right there. So yeah, um, this is quite like a fitted one. You can obviously do an oversized blazer as well, which I love. But I thought I'd just put this one on as it's from PLT and just goes with everything. Um, yeah, so this is the kind of vibe I do. I'll probably put on like a chunkier necklace. Um, and be ready to go and then i'll pair it with probably a little white bag um if i take these straps off hold these little bags are too cute as well so yeah i pair it with a little white bag so obviously you've got the black and then you've got something to like brighten up the outfit a bit um this one is from dude london if you're interested lighting it there we go i think it's like really cute um as well as with a white bag i have just paired with some white heels there you go strap heels wow these moves are something else i can tell you that i'm probably gonna break a leg um but yeah so black skinny leather trousers blazer on top snake skin top showing like a little bit there and a little white bag i think it pairs really nice this would be such a good evening outfit um it's all going on today guys um my memory got my memory guard got full so yeah um yeah i can't remember the last time i was saying but I just think this is the cutest outfit, like girls night, maybe if you've got a date, like, you know, sexy vibes. Yeah, liking this, it's very cute. I'm really sad because I really wanted to like this top, like as soon as I saw it on PLT, I was like, this is what I need, but still a nice top, it's just not right for my body, but I'll still show you guys, um, because obviously we all have different bodies and it's fine. But yeah, so this is just a white shirt, um, cool set kind of vibe because it's meant to come in like tight here um so basically yeah oh and the sleeves are like nice and puffy obviously yeah basically as you can see it's got underlining bone in here um which i thought i could have got away with but i don't know why i think i've got some more boobs i really don't know why i thought that but basically yeah like the boning comes like halfway my boob, like my boob finishes here. So the boning, as you can see like on the side, like my bra is here and the boning is here. So it's just not a vibe for me. Um, but yeah, so I wouldn't recommend if you have bigger boobs or obviously if your boobs are like way more lifted, you're good. Um, if you were to get it, I think black leather trousers would be really nice. Again, I've just put some um, white heels on with this and go with the monochrome kind of vibe and add a white bag or you could do a black bag so it kind of contrasts there on your shoulder um I don't really have to say about this um I'm just sad but it's fine we've got other things this is just the first fail in this haul there's always one fail isn't there and this just has to be for me which kind of my fault because I know I should never buy things with like this underbust thing which is low-key kind of annoying because a lot of dresses have the underbust in it and obviously not everyone's boobs are exactly the same and I hate it when they make it super tiny obviously with this like there was no over lining so I thought I could potentially get away with this um clearly not so I just won't be buying anything again with this um boning on the underbust uh which is fine but just wish they didn't put it in so many things because everyone's boobs are different, you know? Not everyone has small perky boobs or fake boobs if they're larger and they're lifted, then everything would be great, but yeah, no. Um, so yeah, fail for me guys for this one. Okay, so my next outfit is this little cowboy. So we've gone for another like shirt vibe, but at least this one actually fits me. So I'll show you the top first. Um, yeah, so it's just a white cropped shirt. Um, a little bit like bigger on the sleeves, bit oversized, and then it comes tapered in here. It's got some white buttoning, which is nice. Um, don't have any of that like ugly like contrast of buttons. Sometimes it doesn't look very nice. Um, it can be done obviously all the way up there, but I've chosen to have it a bit open. Um, 
yeah so the top i got in a 10 because obviously it's a shirt so i knew i would have to size up potentially because of the boobs i would have liked this is the issue that i have um because I'm in between 8 and 10, uh, I need the 10 for up here, but the 8 is usually always baggy here. So, again, it's not like super tight over here. But, um, yeah, so this is actually a cord. So, I have got the skirt here. Um, I will pan you down so you can see that. I think this is better than moving it, right? And just like panning you down. Um, yeah, so this is the skirt here. Um, again, it's got the white little buttons running down. Um, oh, wait. Oh, there is another button here, but I think I prefer it having a bit open, you know, a bit cheekier. <laughs> yeah, so they've got two white buttons, and then there's actually a clear one here, and there's actually a clear one here. So, uh, which I think is a bit odd, because it doesn't really, like, parallel with the buttons here i think they should have made those white too but hey ho um yeah so i've paired this with some white white are you colorblind bitch pair these with some uh black thigh high boots which i think makes it more autumnal obviously if you're in summer trainers um which this is quite good because you can obviously carry it on till summer next year if hopefully we have a summer next year who even knows but yeah so I don't know what I really think about this. Oh, the skirt is in eight. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to think about this because, like, it's nice, but I feel like I kind of look like a nurse. Do I look like a nurse? Like, is this like a nurse vibe with my little? I don't know. Um, one thing that is good, I am wearing black underwear and it's not see-through, so. Wait, is it? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look see-through in real life. I don't know if it just shows in the camera or not, but we'll see when I watch it back. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to make of this. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Let me know, because it's like, I don't hate it, but something is just a bit odd. I'm not sure what it is, though. Uh, so, yeah, comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, but I do think, like, this whole like vibe is nice, like a shirt and shirt skirt kind of thing. Um, I just feel like the fit is a bit weird, I don't know. So I might be returning this one. Let's see, obviously if some of you guys can help me out, that would be nice. Um, yeah, so obviously I paired it with some black thigh high boots, which I would do. And then probably whack on a black bag. So you get the monochrome, monochrome. Wow, I just realized there's a lot of monochrome in this. Or were the last last three outfits on monochrome sorry i probably should have split that up but <laughs> i think yeah for autumn like black and white it's just really nice and the, like neutrals like beige it's been a lot of neutrals where's the color the next outfit will have color i promise you <laughs> i just realized that also having nails and doing buttons will be the death of me but yeah um i would simply i mean, Oh, I hate that you can't see on the whole outfit, but yes, my fat hair boots, black bag, and this two piece is how I'd wear it for a nice brunch, um, dinner, drinks. Yeah, it's cute. It's cute. I just don't know if I look like a nurse, so let me know. <laughs> okay, so next up we have a little bit of colour. Round of applause. I mean, I still paired it with black, but we move. Um, yeah, so it is actually the skirt. Um, this is like a... I'd say like it's an orange but very close to a red um with this kind of tie-dye print tie-dye would you call that tie-dye yeah i mean it's a, i've seen this kind of tie-dye but i don't know if it's called tie-dye we'll, we'll go with that um i will pan you down because obviously the skirt is what i've bought this skirt is a mini skirt with these little cutouts here please ignore if i have hairy legs and you see them i have paired it with some thigh high boots i would also pair with some biker boots which i have here um with some biker boots like this i think could look really cool um with maybe some black tights on the colder days when it gets into winter but it's still like a nice fun way to kind of make this color skirt into like a wintry autumn number um i would pair this with pretty much only black but like you can have so many options 
Um, so here I've done it with like, what do you call this? It's not oversized, but it's like a baggier, looser fit cropped black jumper obviously to keep you warm this is from plt i got it last year so if it is still on the website i will link it down below and that'd be really helpful i think um but yeah so this is how kind of i would style it with some black fire hair boots just to kind of you know like it's only about the skirt you don't want to take it away from the skirt um this is really nice for i don't know i think it's a day and night it's one of those things if you're going to be out the whole day like i think this is perfect um, again, to casually it down, like instead of thigh high boots, I would pair it with biker boots and tights, um, and then whack like a big coat over the top. Um, but yeah, so this skirt I got in a size. Let me see. Let's just touch myself up here. That's not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, a size eight. It's a shirt, but I don't feel like it's a shirt material. Um, but I love the colour, it's so nice. So, just chuck on my black bag. If it's super chilly, um, like an aviator jacket would look really nice on top of this. A leather jacket would look really nice on top of this. But yeah, this is the vibe. I wish I could step back more, but um, unfortunately I have a desk there. And yeah, so that's the vibe. It's cute. It's transitional because you still got the colour from the summer that you're bringing in, but you're making it warmer with the jumper with the boots yeah i really like this one i uh, might wear it on the weekend let's see okay now we're on to the last little bits that i got from plt so first up is this vest kind of top um this was again just like one of those throwing pieces that again cost me like three pound and just a basic like staples like this you definitely need in your wardrobe it just makes Chucking things over the top so easy. If you don't know what to wear, chuck on one of these and you're good to go. Even when you have like bottoms that are a bit more like out there, having these staples in your wardrobe is like definitely needed. Um, I did get this in a size eight. It's like a ribbed fabric and then you've got the little cut out here, which I like. Um, it's just a bit different to like any other white top, you know, because of the cut out. And I usually wear a lot of necklaces. So like having that is quite nice because then you can show them off a bit um yeah so other than just this plain top i did get this plt shirt um this wasn't in this order but i got it only like two weeks ago if that so it's still new in it is just this like sage green i love this color at the moment it's so nice um what size did i get this in i think i got this in an eight yeah so i got this one in an eight um it is again oversized anyway so it's all right um yes yeah, so we've got sage green got grays you got white so that's why i just paired it with a white top like that so anything that you've got like on top like a nice coat any shirts any jackets like this top would be really good for it i've probably got like a million white crop tops but we move um i have just paired it with some blue jeans here so i like the colors of this like it's still summer colours but you're putting it into like an autumn outfit because obviously you're warmer um which is a nice like transitional piece like you don't want to just get rid of those colours fully yet like you want something and I think sage is like one of those colours where it's all year round so it's perfect um obviously in the colder months you can put like a white um turtleneck underneath one of these which will be nice uh even like layering this on top of like white jumpers is cute but yeah so these jeans are from skydid so yeah i would team these with blue jeans or even the um the stone trousers that i showed you guys earlier from blt these would be a really nice color match with that obviously like all the oh all the lighter colors would look nice together but yeah i like the vibe of the blue jeans um it's like a cool cali girl look you know um i have paired it with some white trainers and i don't know why um i feel like my white bag is like a bit clashy so i would even though i'm wearing a white top i would actually go for something a little bit more neutral so i think this little bag there goes perfectly with it um so yeah i would do that white trainers blue jeans white top this and a little nude bag i think goes really well and this is just like an going shopping like you want to be comfy day lunch that kind of vibe outfit yeah like super cool 
just hi hi just hi <laughs> No, I really like outfits like this. These are definitely like my go-to kind of things, um, especially in the daytime. But yeah, that is the last little outfit I have. Um, I did actually pick up some sandals, which I know you're going to say, gee, sandals in this weather? But they were in the sale and these sandals have come around like every year now and I always think about getting them and we're doing like 50% off basically all their summer stuff. So I did just grab them, so here's a little box, um, obviously I will not be wearing this year, but next year, or if going hold them, we don't know about that, but you never know what could happen. Um, you probably all know what these sandals are, because I'm pretty sure everyone has them, and every year I'm like, I'm going to buy these sandals, but honestly, like, they're 25 to 30 pounds usually, and I just don't want to spend that on sandals, you know? But yeah, so they are just these ones here, so they've got the... They've got the nude with the silver, and these were only £12 in the sale. So if there is still your size, I'd go get them, because when summer comes around and you want them, they're going to be £25 to £30. There you go. Um, I think that is everything, guys. Yeah. So I hope you really enjoyed this haul, and I had so much fun showing you guys, and please comment down below what your favourite outfit is, or if you have any questions, help me out, should I keep some stuff, should I send some stuff back, tell me, be truthful, if something looks awful, tell me, because I'm not even, I'm not going to be perfect at all of this, you know, I just, this is my style, and hopefully some of you can relate and like it, and maybe have the same style, or look for some inspo, um, yeah, don't be daunted by autumn, autumn, is one of my favourite seasons but I'm not gonna lie it's quite hard to transition from summer into autumn especially in England because I mean we didn't even ease into it like where did this cold come from it was rough um yeah comment down below guys please let me know what you guys think and if you want more hauls what brands you would like I'd be happy to spend some of that coin and just show you guys because anyway I'm shopping I actually went shopping yesterday into town and bought hella stuff um, but yeah, let me know if you want me to show you that or if anything, it's only, it's not like as much as I bought on this haul so I could do Insta stories. I do do hauls on my Insta stories so please do go there and check me out. My Instagram is at Judy Patel underscore with two eyes. I'll put it down in the um, description for you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. It literally means the world to me even when just one of you subscribes, even just the views, like honestly. It just makes like me starting worth it at the end of the day and I've wanted to do this for years so it makes me really happy and thank you for all the support that I've already got on my Italy vlogs. Um, some of this content will be coming, uh, more hauls, makeup videos, um, vlogs, I can vlog when I go out and stuff like that for you. Um, yeah I think that is it, thank you so much and I shall catch you in the next video.